Good morning, it is Christmas day here and I'm, I don't know if it snowed overnight. It was not very snowy the last couple of days, so let's see if it's a wet Christmas. Oh, it's kind of snowed a little. Okay, we are going to make our lumpia now. I have to pull up the recipe. I made it last year, so I think I'll just use the same one. Okay, so the ingredients, I will put them below and also the recipe that I'm using, but we need a pound of beef um, or pork, whatever meat you like to use. You could probably even do, I don't know, turkey? Chicken. Half a cup of minced carrots, half a minced onion, half a cup of cabbage, a teaspoon of soy sauce, salt and pepper, and then the spring roll wrapper. So these are the spring roll wrappers that we use. These are, there's two different sizes. This is a smaller of the two and we just pick them up at, actually you can probably get them at, on Asian grocery stores now, but we got ours from an Asian grocery store. Okay, this is what the minced veggies look like. And then we're gonna add the meat and the sauce and then mix it all together and start rolling it up. So we have our filling ready. Okay, I'm going to brown the filling a bit before we deep fry them. This will just help the cooking process go a little quicker. Okay, they're all wrapped and now the frying begins. Here is the finished product we have. So these are going to my parents' house. These ones are going to the Bo's parents' house. They turned out pretty good. We did get some rejects, however. So the key is not getting the wrapper too soggy. Otherwise, they explode like so. Hello, we are home now. So we're just gonna open um, our stockings and watch some Christmas movies. And then I will, actually before we watch Christmas movies, I will share with you guys some of the presents that I bought for myself. <laughs> Before we end today's vlog, I am going to show you guys what I bought myself for Christmas. So I always get questions every every year to show you guys um, what I got for Christmas and like I said this year there wasn't too many gift exchanges but I want to just quickly talk about what I bought myself. In case you're wondering what I'm eating, I am having some of my fruit salad that I made yesterday. I actually wrapped the gifts that I gave myself and I've actually show, already showed you a majority of these items <laughs> so this is just purely for entertainment but the first item that I bought myself for Christmas which was actually I bought, bought it for myself a couple of weeks ago is this simple human compact mirror so I already mentioned this in the vlogmas video that I did talking about what was in my bag. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it here. But this is a new mirror that Simple Human came out with. So Simple Human is a company that designs tools to make your life a little bit easier. So they do soap dispensers, trash bins, sensor mirrors. I feel like what they're most known for is their super fancy sensor mirror. And I was debating for a long time whether or not I should get one or if I would even really use it. But as soon as I saw this item, I had to pick it up instantly because I love to use compact mirrors to check my face throughout the day, to put on makeup. So when I saw that they were coming out with one with the same, I guess, technology as the like stand-up mirror, desk mirror, I wanted to give it a shot. So they come in different colorways. I went with the rose gold and it looks like this. Well, it comes with a pouch so you can set it so that it is always on and it will basically just turn on and off depending on whether it's in the carrying pouch or not but it also has an on and off button on the side it also has two levels of brightness 
So I don't know if you can tell, but there is kind of like a dimmer version and a brighter version. And like I said, you can always turn it off if you press and hold that button. So this is what the rose gold looks like. It's actually very pretty and it has this ring so you can put it through a finger and hold it up like that. It is a three times magnified mirror, which I think is the perfect amount really because it allows you to still see everything in detail but it's not so magnified that you can't see the majority of your face so this is actually perfect and i love the i guess the warmth of the light because it um just gives you a really accurate depiction of what your makeup looks like so this is something i treated myself to i bought mine from the bay uh, so they do have them in a couple of the different colorways. It was a hundred dollars So I know it's a little bit pricey for a compact mirror. The second Christmas gift here is Again, just wrap this for pure entertainment It is the Clarisonic. So this is the Clarisonic Mia Smart. I've already talked about this in a video um, Vlogmas video, so I'll link it here. One of the other gifts that I treated myself to has not arrived yet But it is the firming massage head for the Clarisonic. One of the things I want to do more in 2019 is Self-care so kind of in the latter half of 2018. I've been doing a lot more um, like facials and I want to continue that in 2019 and um, I also just want to I don't know, use a lot more of the tools that I have to um, treat my skin a little bit better. So I'm excited for that. It hasn't arrived yet. I ordered it from thebay.com and it's coming from a store, which usually takes a little bit longer to arrive. It's probably been about a week since I order it and I think it's supposed to be coming sometime next week, so in the new year. I bought myself a couple of makeup bits from Sephora. Surprisingly, I haven't really indulged too much in the beauty shopping. I did pick up that Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette, which I've been loving. The only other beauty related things that I've really picked up other than the stack of Glossier stuff that I ordered um, is the Sugar Lip Treatment from Fresh. This is in the Honey shade. So I love that they have come out with a whole range of tinted fresh sugar lip balms because I really did like this and I feel like the only reason I don't go for it that often is because I feel like it's overpriced, like $29 seems like a lot for this, but it's a holiday season so that I thought I would treat myself. So I went for Honey and I'm wearing it right now actually and it's just like a really pretty sheer nude and I do find it hydrating. My lips have been really dry, just the weather has been drying them out. The other beauty thing I picked up is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, again, I, it's in the packaging purely for entertainment because I've actually used it a couple of times already. So this is what it looks like. Beautiful rose gold Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Look how messy this packaging is already. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the sponge tip applic applicator for anything. I just find it to be messy. I find it really hard to moderate the amount of product that you're squeezing up. Uh, not a huge fan of the packaging and the concealer is, I haven't really given it like a super fair shot. I've only used it once or twice, but I'm not really super impressed yet. But again, something I need to obviously try a little bit more. I bought myself a pair of running shoes. Uh, these are New Balance and you're probably wondering, Aliza, why did you get New Balance shoes? Well, I am a fair weather Raptors fan and Kawhi Leonard, who just got traded to the Raptors this past summer, um, just got signed to New Balance. Like I said, I'm a fair weather fan. So as soon as I found out that he was going to be um, collabing with New Balance, I was like, well, I want to own something from New Balance. And it's completely superficial, but that's why I bought these shoes. I haven't owned a pair of New Balance shoes since I was probably... 13 so <laughs> I don't know I guess there's no cachet in New Balance shoes these are actually really cool I love the color of these so they are the New Balance 247 lifestyle shoe I don't feel like they have the support I would need for running I'm not a runner anyway so 
I guess I don't really have to worry too much about that, but they have pretty good grip. So I think I could use this at the gym, um, at the gym and also just for leisure. But I love the color of these. The color is really what drew me in. So that is what the shoe looks like up close. But again, really the color is what drew me in. So the last couple of pieces that I bought myself are some cashmere pieces. So I mentioned it in my holiday gift guide vlogmas video that I don't think you can ever go wrong with some cashmere pieces. So one of the items has not arrived yet. I picked it up from Uniqlo. They were having a sale on their um, cashmere sweater. So I picked up a turtleneck. Surprisingly, I you know, had some self restraint. So I only picked up one and it was a turtleneck in a dark gray color but the other piece that i ordered another cashmere piece is a scarf so this was actually recommended to me i have to do a proper shout out to the person who recommended me to try kitchen ace for their cashmere scarves okay i found it it was Yasim730. I'm really sorry if I have mispronounced that, but thank you so much for recommending me to check out the Kitten Ace Cashmere Scarves. I had mentioned the this wool scarf, classic wool scarf that I got from Aritzia from the Wilford brand, and I wasn't super happy with it for the price that I paid. It was $89, I think, for that scarf. So I saw that comment about checking out Kitten Ace, and honestly, I have never shopped at Kitten Ace before. I know that they're a Canadian brand, but they have only a handful of stores in Ontario, and it's not just a store that I typically go out of my way to go to. But luckily, they do have an online store, and I went on there, I think, that day or maybe a couple days later, and I checked out their scarf section. They only had a few, but they had some really cute um, cashmere options. They had two that I was eyeing. One is the one that I ended up getting, which is this 100% cashmere kind of cable knit scarf. So it's chunkier. I love the color of it. its cream. They also had another cashmere scarf that was more of a ribbed material. And I like that style too, but they didn't really have a color that I wanted. So they had your classic gray, black, and navy, but I really wanted a cream color. So I went for this one and I absolutely love it. Um, it feels so soft and nice. I took off the tag, but it is 100% cashmere. I really like this scarf too because not only is it appear to be pretty great quality, soft material, 100% cashmere, but it's not overly branded. The only branding really on this scarf is the Kitten Ace logo, which is um, this actual metal piece that is sewn into the fabric this tag was also attached but it's attached in a way that it is super easy and almost recommended to be taken off because it's attached here to this loop and it's only attached by like two stitches so it's super easy to unstitch and just pull out without actually ruining your scarf i once took off a tag on a cashmere scarf and it left the hugest hole because the tag was just so intricately sewn in there that it really was not made to be removed. So those are all of the things that I bought myself or most of the things that I bought myself this holiday season. Before I really end today's video, I wanted to do a little giveaway. So as a thank you for one sticking through this entire month or of vlogmas i wanted to um you know give a little something to you guys for the holidays and it is going to be one of these glossy sweaters so of course it is only fitting to give away one of these sweaters because i have basically been living in the sweater in most of my vlogmas videos as you guys have seen if you have been watching so i will be giving one away obviously not this one this is mine so this is used <laughs> but i will be ordering it from glossier in a size of your choosing and shipping it off to you. This giveaway, I actually just spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out how to do YouTube giveaways because it's been so long since I've actually done one. So in order to win one of these Glossier sweaters, all you have to do is 
leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite gift is that you've ever received or have ever given. I don't want this giveaway to drag on forever and ever and ever, so the giveaway will only be live for 36 hours from when this video gets posted, so whenever that is, um, it'll be 36 hours after that. I have no idea yet how I'm going to be contacting the winner because apparently you can't just send people messages on YouTube anymore, so I will probably respond to whatever random comment wins and we'll figure out how to get the sweater to you so this giveaway is going to be open um, worldwide so as long as i can ship you a parcel from canada to wherever you are you will be eligible to win so once the giveaway closes i will contact you somehow and I'll give you maybe like another 12 hours to respond to me with your information and then we can get the sweater off to you. I probably won't be able to complete this transaction until the new year because one, we'll have to order the sweater, two, there's a bunch of holidays so the post office is closed for the majority of the season until the new year so um, you just got to be patient because it probably won't be shipped out till like probably the second week of January. Again, as a thank you for you guys watching my videos, um, presumably the people who are going to be entering this giveaway are the people who've stuck around for so long, especially since I'm not putting a clickbaity giveaway title in the description or in the title. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas. If not, I hope you guys just enjoyed your day. And yeah, so leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite gift that you've ever received has been or favorite gift that you've ever given has been. And you could be the lucky owner of a new Glossier sweater. So that's it for me. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.